What's going on? It's Rocky Fresh checking in right now with Killer Hip Hop. Make sure you get in tune. I be that young nigga from Chicago. About to heat the city up and make it feel like. So it's your first time in the UK. How are you experiencing life so far? I love it, man. It's a great first time. All the shows been dope. All the people I met have been super nice. And uh, yeah, man, I'm enjoying it. Now, um, obviously, as you know, Self Made Free is out in stores right now at the moment, and you've got a couple of joints on there. Yeah. Now, you've got God is Great is probably my favorite song on there at the moment. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Um, you've got a lyric in there talking about your album's coming out soon, and you're going to be working on a movie script. When I ain't focused on these clothes, I got some goals to hit. Finish the album, then I'm working on the movie script. Yep, so, what's the album going to be like, first of all? Uh, the album going to be special, man. You know, um, this is going to be a real storytelling like just different form of music that the rap game I feel like needs but um I'm gonna lead y'all into that you know what I'm saying with some more music first but it's definitely gonna be something that like is classic and I feel like it's, it's gonna be something original you know what I'm saying with me coming from Chicago I understand um just the place that we play in the game from people like Kanye and Common and Twister just giving such original sounds, you know what I'm saying? And so with that, I'm going to come right behind them and really give the game something that they haven't heard in a while and probably never heard before. Okay. And then the movie scripts, what's the movie scripts going to be about? Uh, as far as the movie scripts, man, I'm a huge fan of movies. Like uh, anybody that knows me will tell you I don't really leave my house too much, you know what I'm saying, unless I'm getting a check or something. So with that being said, I'm just in the crib watching movies all the time. And with that, same thing with rap, you know what I'm saying? I listen to it so much, I start to pick up on, you know, the way that it's put together. And uh, that's kind of how I am about movies at this point. And so with that being said, you know what I'm saying, we're going to make that happen. Yeah. Now, on Twitter, you recently said that this rap shit is fun to me. Mm -hmm. What is it that you actually like about rap and what is it that you dislike about rap as well? Uh, that's a, I, f I feel like that's a dope question because it kind of piggybacks off of what I was just saying. Um, with me being a fan of rap, you know what I'm saying, what I like about it the most is that I started off, you know what I'm saying, in my mama crib, like, listening to these guys. And now I got songs with, like, everybody that I was listening to, you know what I'm saying, or have been in the same studio with it, with everybody that I was listening to or being able to hear their music early. And with that, from a fan perspective, it makes the game awesome, you know what I'm saying, for me to be 22 years old and for me to have several records with Rick Ross or for me to be on a song with Fabulous or for me to be, you know what I'm saying, on a song with Wiz Khalifa or Currency. Like, that's an awesome feeling, you know what I'm saying? So with that alone, it makes the game fun. But then, two, um, the fact that I'm at a place where I can take care of my family off of this and my mom's bills are not really an issue. Whenever times get hard for her, she knows she can hit me. Like That makes this fun as well because I didn't even think I'd be here this early. Now, you mentioned Rick Ross. Is there any advice that he gives to you, like on a day-to-day -day basis about your music career? Um, I mean, it's not even more so on a day-to-day -day basis. Like He knows that like I'm a... I'm a quick learner, you know what I'm saying? And he leads really well by example. And uh, with that being said, when we together, man, it's more so like he's just, you know what I'm saying? We just learning more about each other on some, some brotherhood type stuff. Um, he hasn't really had to like really sit me down and like, you know what I'm saying, talk to me about nothing too crazy because I'm always working and I'm always, you know what I'm saying, coming to the table with ideas. Whenever he sends me something, I get it done as soon as possible. And so with that being said, we just got a real good relationship. And I think, you know, he's enjoying watching me grow into the artist that, you know, he knows that I want to be. And two, he already knows that I'm learning so much from him and the rest of the guys on the team. So it's, it's real smooth. Now, you recently signed a deal with Puma, as you can see. Um, how did that deal come about? Uh, man, I've always been going hard with the sneakers, you know what I'm saying? And um, I think I really represented that culture to a point where, you know, certain brands had to kind of take recognition. But I think with the thing... Um, the thing about Puma is I've always been a fan of them as well. You know, I was copping Pumas back in high school, and so when they hit me with the opportunity, and uh, also, you know, the fact that Meek was signed with them and I saw how well things went with him, um, it was just a thing where I felt like I can really be a Midwest, you know what I'm saying, representative for a dope brand that I felt like people were sleeping on. So with that, you know, we worked out the business, and uh, they gave me a great opportunity, and I'm enjoying it as well. 
Um, well, man, definitely right now get uh get that self made three. You know, God is greatest on iTunes right now. You could purchase that. But then too, uh, me and my producers, my team, also uh, along with some of your favorite producers, your hip boys, your boy Wonders. You know, what I'm saying we working on really giving y'all some real classic real soon. So just be on the lookout for that. Like I said, you know, this is my first time in London, so I appreciate y'all for getting me this far. Like, thank you, you know what I'm saying, 100%, and understand that I'm still getting better with this music, and my next project is going to be insane.